Hey, so I just want to make a very, very quick video. Dude, you are going places, right? All right, so let's move this in here. Yeah, yeah, okay. So the first thing today was, discovery was, you can wait out in the rain. You help make easy to eat. Doing activities that are good for you make it more pleasing to do activities that are good for you. So I'll just explain every single one of them so we can relate to it. Okay, so point number one. Uh, today I was very, very tired. I did not want to do this video. My pet was just watching TV, so I said to myself, wait a minute. Is this thing recording? And I said, hold on. I'm tired, right? I'm tired, I know that. But how is it that I'm tired? I'm sleeping 10 hours a day, right? I'm also spending two hours a day watching TV. Stuff that is like brain dead, right? something in here, right? So I figured out, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work through it. And lo and behold, the video came. So the book discovery messed with emotions. You can wait if you experience sadness, loneliness, tiredness, stress. Just get the right level. Medium to light activity in terms of difficulty, right? And then after 30 to 60.
your dopamine tolerance. And then if you eat in dopamine, it doesn't really register, right? So one of the keys to successes in life is to stay away from activities that produce too much dopamine, right? Because you have to understand dopamine works on things like brushing your teeth, right? Eating, talking to a person, reading a book. If activities that you do produce too much dopamine, playing an e-sport like a very addictive computer game, it fires so much dopamine, reading a book becomes, your brain just doesn't even register becomes too demotivating to do, all right? So one of the core principles of success is you have to stay away from very, very high dopamine producing activities, all right? So if you can do that, then doing things like reading books, working, right? Talking to a person, creating a video on YouTube, right? Writing something down, writing things down in your diary, discovering something, right? It starts producing dopamine and you start to feel pleasure in it. Now, if you find yourself, right, something that you used to enjoy and you're no longer enjoying it, right, because you started doing something else, the main big problem was playing computer games again, for example, it fires so much dopamine, it becomes totally impossible to do that. So the most important thing is Over time, it becomes very addictive. You can actually become addicted to eating apples. Like, I'm addicted to eating apples. If I don't eat healthy food every single day, I'm going to be sick. Right? So that's the thing. Yeah. This is basically exactly the same. The second option is only activities like playing video games. So if some activities like playing video games fires the dopamine crazily, do not do it. It's too addictive. Okay. And the book that I'm reading is actually called. What is it called? What is the name of the book? It's this one here. Addiction Recovery Skill Workbook by Suzetter Glasner Edwards. Okay. Very, very helpful. Okay, you're the man. You're the man. Keep going. You already are a millionaire, right? It's time to get to 10 millions. Good job. Keep it up.